Google Glass is a wearable technology. So like your smartphone is on your head. So the 8,000 who are invited to participate in this program call ourselves Glass Explorers. So we are exploring the capability of Google Glass to see what it can do, especially in my field, what it can do in the medical field. So when I have it this, you know, again, uh, touch it, it wakes it up, so to say, do I want to take a picture? If I do, I just touch it and boom, it takes a picture. As just now, I took a picture of you. It is a question of privacy and uh, we certainly respect the patient's privacy. And so far, I think it's going to be a great teaching tool. I think it would be able to share information with my patients and their families. And perhaps down the road, if there are proper apps, use it in daily patient to uh, physician contact. The left side of it is basically just to cover your eye, but the right side is where all your technology is embedded. To start with, there's a lens and a prism, which is actually putting a screen right in front of you like a 42 inch TV. Then there is a button right on top here, which will take instant picture. And then this part of it is uh, like your trackpad. So you can go up and down, I mean, backwards and forwards, up and down, one finger, two finger, and those just like any other smartphone have different things to do. And coming to the back portion of it, this is where the battery is. It lasts anywhere from uh, four hours to 24 hours, depending on your use. So the more videos you use, the more, you know, it will consume. Right there is a very unique feature of it, which transmits sound. And what it does is transmits the sound into this frame here in the knob and that sits on your bone and that transmits the sound bypassing the ear so to say and you can hear it. I can say get directions to downtown Pittsburgh and it will get me directions not only that but right here I'll be able to see those directions as I'm driving or walking. We are losing touch with the patients by keep looking at a uh, computer screen and not making eye contact with the patient. With this you're able to look at the computer and have a patient eye contact, which I think is very important.